Time for a question period. The member from Florida. Thank you very much, Speaker. And good morning. My question is for the Minister of Finance. The people of Ontario, Minister, anxiously await a budget date. The hearings of the Standing Committee on Finance and Economic Affairs have concluded. The final report is being assembled and should be in the hands of the Minister this week. While having no confidence in this government, the PC party does have a job to do on behalf of all Ontarians. Our job is to ensure that the McGuinty Wind government stays true to its word and provides a balanced budget on schedule, your schedule, 2017-18. Because based on facts and figures, we do not believe that you can or that you will. Minister, you have refused to categorically state that you will balance the budget on time. I'd be very happy with a simple yes or no response. Question. Will you meet that date and balance the budget, yes or no? Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, I am very proud of the outstanding work that's being done by all Ontarians, recognizing for the last four years running, we've beat our targets. We have conceded in achieving some outstanding results on behalf of our province. And, Mr. Speaker, we are on target to balance our books by 2017-18 as planned, and we'll do it with or without the opposition. I hope you'll support us because what we plan forward is going to be the appropriate thing for all Ontarians in a balanced approach to ensure that no extreme initiatives are taken that would hinder that recovery because we are on track to achieve a balanced budget by 2017-18. Minister, your response is laughable, but it's not funny. We in the opposition have dismantled and analyzed the figures. Speaker, we simply do not accept the possibility, even remotely, Attorney that General. Minister Sousa could General, possibly deliver a balanced budget uh, in, in the McGinty Wynn government stated time frame. And I'd like to send over a slide deck so that we can share with you the work that we've done. You Your wavering and refusal to be specific causes us and indeed the major credit agencies to worry. Ontario needs jobs creation and investment. Your hesitation and your coached media coyness tell us that you don't know how to balance the books. You've already dipped into the only savings you had from the past fiscal year to pay for your government's capitulation to the teachers' Question. unions. Your cupboard is bare. What are you going to do about it? Minister. So let's, let's put this in perspective. We have 400,000 more jobs, net new jobs, since the recession. The worst recession in history over the last 90 years, and we have achieved some outstanding success. We've now been able to bend our cost curve. We're implementing over 50% of Drummond's recommendations. We've taken on a report by the Jobs of Prosperity, and we're looking also at social reform to support those most vulnerable so that everybody can succeed, Mr. Premier. Madam Premier. <laughs> and we are doing it in a very, very collaborative way, because that's the way to go. When what the opposition is, performing, is, is suggesting is extreme measures, slash and burn, yeah. do away with those in need and ensure that what we end up having is in fact even a worse recovery. What we need is to facilitate that recovery because it is a sensitive recovery. And we are on track because we've achieved those targets and more. And that's exactly what Thank you're going to you. hear in our budget going forward. Your slide deck, you. I welcome. What I really is some good solutions going forward. We've provided them, Speaker. Frankly, Speaker, we're tired of the new minister practicing his answer evasion skills on the media and now to the people of Ontario. Business as usual for your government is a disaster for our economy and for the people of Ontario. People are tired of these teasers. Just answer the questions, Minister. It's simple. How about the straight goods right now? When are you tabling your budget? Are you maintaining or breaking your promise to balance at 2017-18? What services are being cut, or conversely, what taxes are being raised? So let me be clear. We've beat our targets four years running. We're going towards a balanced budget by 2017-18. We're working with Ontarians to achieve That'll do. Thank you. Mr. 
And to Rick Brennan's question, I guarantee that we are working towards every possibility to balance our budget by 2017-18, and we will do what's necessary to achieve that success. And we've incorporated a lot of recommendations from a lot of people around the province because we have reached out to everyone as much as, much as we can. Well, over 600,000 people have been touched in terms of what it is we want. We've got input from a lot of people to make this a, 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 a budget that speaks to the people of Ontario. And we will work towards that, Mr. Speaker. And I appreciate all of the recommendations and input that's been made. Thank Any you. Question? The member from the PNP.